sometimes when I hear the music after the commercial break, I think, oh, Miami Vice is on. <laughs> and if you're in the house and you think, you hear, and you think, oh, Miami Vice, and you come in and it's me going, it's <laughs> been really disappointing. I'm so sorry. Anyway, not to worry, because my next guest will be appearing at the Hollywood Improv uh, as part of Comedy Central's open mic fight on July 31st. Please welcome the very funny Raj Desai, everybody. Raj Desai. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Uh, I am a comedian, but I do have a day job, and I don't really like my day job. So I've been looking for a new job, and that means you have to go on all these job interviews. And I don't like those things. I don't think anybody likes those things. Because everybody asks the same sort of stupid and sincere questions, and you gotta give the same sort of stupid and sincere answers, you know? Like, uh, one question they ask a lot is, what's your greatest strength and what's your greatest weakness? And you're supposed to say the same thing. Like, uh, well, my greatest strength is that I'm a really good listener. My greatest weakness is sometimes I listen too well. And then they're supposed to be like, this guy must be the greatest listener of all time. He said it twice. And I've just been on way too many job interviews, and I kept getting that question, and finally I just started saying ridiculous stuff, like, uh, Mr. Desai, what's your greatest strength and what's your greatest weakness? Well, my greatest strength is that I'm punctual, and my greatest weakness is cheesecake, girlfriend, hi! <laughs> yeah, I got the job. I'm an uh, attractive young hostess at the Beverly Hills Cheesecake Factory. Just, uh, come on down. Uh, I watch TV. We all watch TV. And one thing I, I see a lot on TV are local news previews. And the thing about local news previews, they're always trying to scare you into watching later, you know? They're always like, uh, tune in tonight at 11 to find out what might be in your home heating insulation. <laughs> and then you watch, and they're like, it's foam, jerk, and it's supposed to be there anyway. And you're like, oh, man, local news, I didn't know I was such a jerk. And I don't have a lot of friends, so when they call me, I just take a page from local news, and I try to scare them into calling me more. They'll be like, hey, Raj, I'll talk to you later. I'm like... Yeah, man, I'll talk to you later, but why don't you give me a call tonight at 11 to find out what I've been putting in your drinking water. <laughs> so, uh, crystal light, it's something to be afraid of, guys. Uh, but my favorite type of preview are movie previews, because they always come with that line at the bottom by the critic, you know? And it's never the way anybody actually talks about movies. Like, if you want to tell your friend to see a movie, you just be like, dude, you got to see that movie. It's a really good movie, you know? You never be like, dude, you got to see that movie. It is a stylish romp. Dude, you gotta see that movie. It is a tour de force, dot, 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 mesmerizing. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm glad you guys like grammar humor because I've got five minutes on misplaced modifiers coming your way. Uh, I, 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 I always see that a lot of people like to announce big emotions, you know, like, uh, dude, I'm hungry, I want something to eat. Or man, I'm tired, I need to get some sleep. I'm a little different, I like to announce subtle emotions. Like, dude, I feel recalcitrant. I don't want to cooperate with nobody right now. <laughs> dude, I feel self-effacing. I want to do something positive and not take any credit for it. <laughs> Guys, believe it or not, that joke is a huge hit at SAT prep courses around the country. <laughs> uh, one thing I like is uh, presidential humor, uh, uh, presidential history, rather, and, uh, and I like those little, like, fun facts they, they give you about presidents, and I got one for you guys. Like, you guys all know this. Whenever celebrity couples start dating, the media combines their names, like there's Benifer or there's Brangelina. But they used to do with presidential couples, too. Like, there was Abraham and Mary Lincoln. They were known as Abramery. Uh, yeah, Warren and Florence Harding were known as Warrants. But the most logical and useful one, because their names were so long, were John F. Kennedy and Jacqueline Bouvier Kennedy. They were known as Junklin F. Bouvenardier. Just make it snappy. Why would... It gets dumber, perhaps. Uh, but I, one thing I like a lot is, uh, is politics. And, uh, and I, my favorite thing about politics are elections. And the best thing about elections are negative campaign ads. Because uh, they're always the same, they're always so stupid. They always have that same, like, skeptical, tattletale voiceover guy, you know, who's like, a, Steve Wesley said he was gonna do this. And then he didn't do it. He's a smelly jerk. And he probably is one if he didn't do what he said he was gonna do. And, uh, and I read about one negative campaign ad in Northern California, this is totally true, there was someone in her office the last election, and they were like, Diane Buchanan didn't send her children to public school. She doesn't have children. She doesn't even have any. <laughs> and then they were like, uh, Diane Buchanan didn't vote for Proposition 42 when she was on the school board. But she wasn't even on the school board when that was up for consideration. So now they're just blaming people for things that are technically accurate, but completely impossible at the same time. <laughs> and this is a good trend. There should be more ads like this, like, uh, Steve Wesley didn't even have the guts to call for a truce between Athens and Sparta during the Peloponnesian War. <laughs> 
And he didn't lift a finger while the Black Plague ravaged early modern Europe. Is this who you want for your governor? Dong. Hey, thanks for listening, guys. I've been Roger Sai. Thank you. Well, I'd like to thank my guests, Jackie Collins, Breaking Benjamin, the very funny Raj Desai. I'd like to talk to you more, but oh, it's the count of time we gotta go. Good night, everybody. Good night.